We are back now with the Golden Bachelor, Gary Turner, and his wife, Teresa Nist. Millions of Americans watched them fall in love and get married on live TV back in January. And Juju Chang sat down with the couple who have a personal update to share. Good morning, Juju. Good morning, Rebecca. And they certainly do. I have to say both Carrie and Teresa say they are really nervous about how fans will react to their news. So many of them cheered them on as they bonded over widowhood and looking for love in their 70s. So after that, that lavish golden wedding, now they have what can perhaps best to be described as a bombshell. It's been a couple months since your wedding and you have some news to share. We have received so much love and support from so many people who watch The Golden Bachelor and I don't think we can tell you how many people told us that it gave them so much hope. We want none of that to change for anybody. Teresa and I have had a number of heart-to-heart -heart conversations and we've looked closely at our situation, our living situation and so forth and, and we've kind of come to the conclusion mutually mm -hmm. that it's probably time for us to um, dissolve our marriage. Get a divorce? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Three months after getting married? Yes. Yes. You could imagine what the reaction's going to be. I'm sure yeah. you've already imagined yes. what the reaction's going to be. Yeah. It was just January when America's first golden couple, Gary Turner and Teresa Nist, professed their love for each other. I promise to be your calm in a storm, to comfort you when you're sad, to laugh with you when you're happy, and to stick with you throughout it all. We have a trust that cannot be broken. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> I mean, three months ago, you were telling the world that you couldn't imagine living without each other. I mean, what the heck, guys? Yeah. The thing that strikes me the most in, in our mm -hmm. conversations, it's been how dedicated both of us are to our families. So we look at these situations, and, and I think we just feel like it's best for the happiness of each of us to, to live apart. I, I hear you, I hear what you're saying, and yet throughout the process you said you were 100% committed to making it work. That in November you told me you were thinking of moving to South Carolina to be together. How did it fall apart? Yeah, so that was the plan. We looked at homes in South Carolina, uh, we considered New Jersey, and we just looked at homes after home, but we never got to the point where we made that decision. I can't help but notice you're still holding hands. Yes. <laughs> Did you fall out of love? No. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. I still love this person. Yeah, I There's still love There's no him. doubt in my mind. I still am in love with her. I root for her every day. So many people who had given up on love later in life were inspired by you. What do you say to them now, especially the cynical ones who might say, I knew it wouldn't last? Yeah, we say don't give up. Right. We say stay in it, stay hopeful, because we are. The couple challenged with the realities of being in the public eye. There were all sorts of reports, though, about like, oh, your dating history, your resume passed. Did any of that play into this? No, not for me, no, no. because uh -uh. Gary had already discussed that with me. He had, he had explained it to me before the report was ever released. So we were good with that. that. That didn't play into it. Again, it happened so abruptly. There was no sense of like, let's just keep, let's just, you know, pretend for a while. We didn't want to pretend to anybody. No. We wouldn't lie we're to anyone. 70 yeah. and 72. Mm, we can't do that. Is a kind of a waste. We can't do that. I see your rings. Yes. Um, will you have to give your rings back? Do you give the dress back? How does that oh, work? Oh, I think that's the rule. <laughs> I think I have to give this ring back. Sad to say. But, but you know what? We don't <laughs> have to give back the memories. <laughs> yeah. So will you both continue to look for love? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And we I mean, tell everybody else to continue to look for love. You know I still love you. I still love you. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, rapid fire round. Did they have a prenup? Yes, and they highly recommend it to others. Will they stay in each other's lives? Yes, they say they're best friends. And what advice did Teresa have for the new, yet to be announced, golden bachelorette? She said, be authentic, be yourself. It's a head scratcher. Oh, it is. Juju, we're looking forward to more of your interview tonight on Nightline. Thanks for bringing that to us.